Each of the brand's three models, the Giulia, Stelvio, and Tonale, will only have one trim and a Tributo Italiano Special Edition. Alpha Romeo is reducing the lineups of all three of its models to just one trim each for 2025. The Giulia and Stelvio also add a new paint color, Verde Fonjo Metallic. A limited production Tributo Italiano Special Edition is available for the Giulia, Stelvio, and Tonale too. Earlier this year, a report emerged that Stellantis CEO Carlos Tavares was willing to ax brands that are having difficulty achieving profitability and logging sales. While marks such as Jeep and Ram are clearly safe thanks to bestsellers such as the Wrangler and 1500 pickup, the automotive conglomerate houses several struggling brands, including Alfa Romeo. Now Alfa has announced a drastic simplification of its lineup in the United States with each of its three models, the Julia Sedan, Stelvio SUV, and Hybrid Tonale crossover, reduced to just a single trim level for the 2025 model year. For 2024, each model was offered in four variants. The Giulia and Stelvio both featured lineups that included the Sprint, T, Veloce, and Competizione. The Tonale's lineup differed slightly with a Speciale model instead of the Competizione. For 2025, there will only be one unnamed version of each vehicle offered. There are few changes to the Alfa Romeo lineup otherwise. The Giulia and Stelvio gain a new Verde Fonjo metallic paint color and all three models will also offer a limited production Tributo Italiano Special Edition. The Giulia and Stelvio have a rear diffuser, red brake calipers, and darkened trim, with 19-inch wheels on the Giulia and 21 inches on the Stelvio. The special tonale is distinguished by 20-inch wheels, red Brembo brakes, a body-colored body kit, and dual chrome exhaust tips. The hybrid also features aluminum door sills and a black painted roof. Inside, the special edition adds a Harman Kardon sound system and plenty of leather upholstery with Tributo Italiano, an Alfa Romeo logo, and an Italian tricolor flag stitched into the headrest. The Giulia Tributo Italiano also features aluminum shift paddles, an active suspension, and a limited slip differential. Alfa Romeo has never enjoyed much popularity in the United States since its return in 2017, and its sales are particularly dismal as of late. Despite the addition of the more affordable Tonale for the 2024 model year, sales through the first half of this year were only up by 2%, with a total of just 4,777 units. The Tonale accounted for 1,615 units, while the Stelvio remained the brand's best-selling model with just 1,866 examples sold through the end of June, down 32% versus 2023. The Julia's 1,296 units sold represented a 29% drop compared with last year, 